pulse generator, is either an electronic circuit, or an electronic test device, used to generate square pulses. Pulse generators, are mainly used to work with digital circuits, while generators of related functions, are mainly used for analog circuits. By including the simple RC, you can make a circuit, that gives a pulse output from a step input. Q2 is normally held in saturation by R2, so its output is close to ground. Note that R2 is chosen small enough, to ensure Q2's saturation. With the circuit's input at ground, Q1 is cut off, with its collector at plus 5 volt. The capacitor C1 is therefore charged, with plus 5 volt on its left terminal, and approximately plus 0.6 volt, on its right terminal, so it has about 4.4 volts across it. So to generate the pulse, the circuit is waiting for input step. Plus 5 volts positive input step, brings Q1 into saturation, forcing its collector to ground, because of the voltage across C1, this brings the base of Q2, for short time negative, to about minus 4.4 volts. Q2 is then cut off. No current flows through R3, and so its output jumps to plus 5 volts, this is the beginning of the output pulse. Now for the time constant RC. C1 can't hold Q2's base, below ground forever, because current is flowing down, through R2, trying to pull it up. So the right terminal of the capacitor, charges toward plus 5 volts, with a time constant tau equals R2 times C1, here equal to 100 microseconds. It is easy to see, that the output transistor, Q2 will turn on again, terminating the output pulse, when the rising voltage on the base of transistor Q2, reaches the 0.6 volts VBE drop required for turn on. This circuit or the duration of the pulse, requires the input to remain high, at least for the duration of the output pulse. To solve this problem, we add to the first circuit, an NPN Q3, whose task, is to hold the collector of Q1 at ground. Once the output pulse begins, regardless of what the input signal does. Now any positive input pulse, longer or shorter, than the desired output pulse width, produces the same output pulse width. The second problem is, for the output pulse, to turn off takes somewhat slowly. That happens because Q2's base voltage, with its unhurriedly, 100 microseconds RC time constant, rises relatively slowly through the turn-on voltage threshold, of approximately 0.6 volts. This problem, does not occur at the turn-on of the output pulse, because at that transition, Q2's base voltage, drops abruptly down to approximately minus 4.4 volts. So now the solution, is to add at the output a circuit, known as a Schmidt trigger, shown in its transistor implementation. When the output pulse, of the previous circuit is positive, the input to this new Schmidt circuit is near plus 5 volts. That holds Q4 in saturation, and so Q5 is cut off, with the output at plus 5 volts. The emitter current of Q4 is about 5 mA, so the emitter voltage is approximately 100 mV, and the base is a VBE higher, approximately 700 mV. After that with the trailing edge, of the input pulse waveform, whose voltage drops toward ground. As it drops below 700 millivolts, Q4 begins to turn off, so its collector voltage rises. Here, the collector resistor R7, supplies current to Q5, putting it in saturation. So Q5's collector drops nearly to ground. As the input voltage, drops through the 700 millivolts threshold, and Q5 turns on, the total emitter current rises to approximately 10 mA, 5 mA from Q5's collector current, and another 5 mA from its base current, both of which flow out the emitter. The drop across the emitter resistor is now 200 mV, which means, that the input threshold has increased to about plus 800 mV. So the input voltage, which had just dropped below 700 mV, now finds itself well below the new threshold causing the output to switch abruptly. With this action, the Schmidt trigger turns a slowly moving waveform into an abrupt transition. A similar action, 
occurs as the input rises through this higher threshold. The output voltage changes as the input voltage passes through the two thresholds, an effect known as hysteresis. The Schmidt trigger produces rapid output transitions as the input passes through either threshold. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and share.